Accrued revenue and accounts receivable are both accounting terms for income that has been earned and recognised in the accounts, but has not yet been received. Both accrued revenue and accounts receivable are current assets that appear in the same section of the balance sheet and are expected to be turned into cash within the next 12 months. But while they appear to be the same thing, there are some differences. Let's say you're reviewing the latest balance sheet for your business and it contains these items in the current assets section. Accounts receivable of $50,000 and accrued revenue of $10,000. You're a little unsure as to why there needs to be two different assets on the balance sheet considering they seem to be the same thing. So you sit down with your business's accountant who is more than happy to explain. She starts off by telling you that the $50,000 of accounts receivable is the total amount of invoices that have been sent to your customers but have not yet been paid. In your business, after you supply goods or services to a customer, you create an invoice in your accounting system, send it to your customer and give them 30 days to pay, so it's normal for there to be some unpaid invoices in the system at any given time. She also tells you that customers are sometimes referred to as debtors and that's why accounts receivable is sometimes called trade debtors on the balance sheet. Not only that, she explains, when you create an invoice on the system, the amount of the invoice is also included as revenue on the income statement. So even though the customer hasn't paid you yet, the money they owe you is included in accounts receivable on the balance sheet and revenue on the income statement. This means that the revenue is included on the income statement in the period in which it is earned instead of the period in which the invoice is paid. This ensures that the business's accounts comply with the rules and regulations of accrual accounting. Happy with that explanation, you then turn your attention to accrued revenue. You'd like to know what it is and how it's different from accounts receivable. Your accountant starts by telling you that they are fairly similar to each other because they are both assets on the balance sheet that represent goods or services you have supplied to customers for which they have not yet paid. And another similarity is that the revenue is included on the income statement in the period in which it is earned instead of the period in which the customer pays for the goods or services supplied. The big difference between the two, she explains, is that there are no invoices in the accounting system for the money included in accrued revenue. You're a little confused by that because you wonder how any kind of revenue can appear on the balance sheet or income statement without entering an invoice into the accounting system. Your accountant goes on to explain how this happens. We always try to send invoices to customers as soon as possible because it means we'll get paid more quickly, but sometimes there are situations in which it is not appropriate to send an invoice yet. When this happens, we still need to include that revenue on our income statement because we have actually earned it. And the way to do that is by posting a manual journal in our accounting system. So for this month, our manual journal posted $10,000 to the revenue line on the income statement and $10,000 to accrued revenue on the balance sheet. This means that the $10,000 of accrued revenue currently on the balance sheet represents work we have completed for our customers for which we have not yet created an invoice. Later on, once we create invoices to send to our customers, our accounting system will automatically include the $10,000 in accounts receivable on the balance sheet and as revenue on the income statement. At that point, the amount will be double counted in our system and on our reports. To fix this problem, we'll post another journal. This journal will be the exact opposite to the original journal and will reverse the $10,000 out of the accrued revenue asset on the balance sheet and out of the revenue line on the income statement. The result will be that the $10,000 of accrued revenue will be gone from the balance sheet and replaced by an extra $10,000 in accounts receivable and it will stay there until the customers pay for their invoices. On the income statement, the $10,000 will only be included once and that will be in the period in which the money was earned and not when the invoices are paid. So in a nutshell, your accountant explains, 
accrued revenue is made up of income your business has earned for which we have not yet created an invoice, while accounts receivable is made up of invoices that are currently unpaid. After such a great explanation, you now feel like you know the main difference between accrued revenue and accounts receivable, and you have a much better understanding of your business's balance sheet.